Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Good morning everyone. Today is Saturday morning and um, it's currently around 9 a.m. and I have to get ready because I'm heading on a little little um, holiday weekend getaway with my friends here in Korea and we're going to a city called Namyangju northeast of Seoul so um, it's not gonna take too long to go there which is very nice so I decided to actually film this whole trip and also film a little get ready with you because I feel like we need a little like chit chat it's been a while actually it's not even been a while I just want to chit chat okay <laughs> So I think because it's so like warm and I'm probably gonna sweat a lot, I wanna keep both my base makeup and my skincare really, really simple. So I'm just gonna go in with my Scent Little Botanical Relief Oil here, of course. And for those of you who have been living under a rock, this is the oil that I created and um, I created it together with a chemist. It's my little blend of all of my favorite skin goodies. So I'm just gonna Put that on my skin today. This oil can easily be used on its own as I'm doing right now since it has so many good benefits for the skin. You really don't need anything else and especially when it's so hot I don't want to like drown my face in products. This oil is so smooth and easy to apply to the skin and spread out and it just lays such like a thin and lightweight layer onto the skin so that you don't feel like you're heavy because it's an oil. Um, it's a very lightweight one so it just feels nice. So I actually have a little update regarding the oil because a lot of you guys who live in America and other countries that currently has no flights in going to the country obviously cannot get your oil right now. Um, if you order it we do save it in the books like a pre-order so that you'll get it as soon as they open but the issue is right now and especially with America there is literally no flights that goes into the country with goods. So um, it's impossible for us to ship them out right now, which is very sad because a lot of you guys who are watching are from America and um, it makes me sad that you guys can't have it right now. I also just want to like say thank you to everyone who wrote such amazing reviews regarding the oil. I am like... I'm so blown away by all of the positive feedback and amazing messages saying how much it has helped your skin, both like your acne and on redness and for you who just want like an inner glow, I know this worked on me. Um, so I was really, really curious and honestly a little bit nervous to see if other people would feel the same about this as I would and you guys have. Like I'm. I'm blown away. So yeah, of course, um, I have linked everything down below both the oil and also, you know, all of the rest of the products that I'm gonna mention, so be sure to go down there. So we're gonna be outside a lot today and tomorrow and uh, I want to be sure that I am well protected, so I'm just going in with my sunscreen. This is, you know, the highest protection that it can be, plus it's a pure mineral sunscreen. And it's so smooth, like you usually only have this kind of a smooth consistency um, in chemical sunscreens and obviously as the name kind of suggests chemical sunscreens are really bad for your skin. Now the base is down, let me go on to foundation and then we can also like start to talk about some interesting things. <laughs> this is my Espoir Pro Taylor foundation and uh, this year as I said in one of my previous videos I've been going up to the 20W which is a little bit darker than the lightest one that I usually use. <laughs> So let me tell you guys a little bit about, you know, this weekend um, and who I'm going with because I actually always get a lot of um, curious comments who's asking how I learned Korean and I'm saying learned because I'm at a level right now where I can have a proper conversation with someone um, on a friendly level and I can get along with Korean people who don't speak English. So. Obviously, I have a lot to learn, but I'm at the level where I feel comfortable living here. So that's why I'm saying learned. Basically, I learned because I threw myself out in situations where I wasn't able to use English. You know, one of the girls that I'm meeting today is the first person ever in Korea that I met. Second person. She worked at a company that hired me as a model. So I met her at a shooting, actually. And then since then we've just been hanging out since and uh, she doesn't know any English and you know obviously when I first moved here I didn't know anything like she always makes fun 
of the fact that the first night that we met and she took me out for dinner, she said like that the only words I told her was ne, anio, ne, anio. Which is like yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And that was the only thing I could say. So I didn't understand much of what was going on that evening. And a lot of the other meetings after that, I didn't understand anything as well. Um, but obviously the more that we met up, the more I could understand her and, you know, converse with her. And so that can be very like uncomfortable for some people, but honestly, I am very comfortable in uncomfortable situations. I like to challenge myself, so that's why... Oh, hi. She's texting me now. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I like felt comfortable continuously meeting up with her. By the way, that's about two years ago now. I can't believe I've been here for two years. This came into the door yesterday evening, and this is uh, from Dear Dahlia, which is one of my favorite makeup brands here in Korea because they're very vocally vegan. Um, and they sent me la -la, their concealer selection. This is great. And honestly, okay, hold on. I think that wounded my makeup a little bit. So honestly, Korean brands are very bad at coming out with a selection for different skin types. They have pretty much just my shade and two other shades usually. Um, so it works out fine for me, but this world isn't only consisting for, you know, white people and, and Asian light skin tones. There are a ton of other skin tones. So this is really nice that Dear Dahlia has actually made um, tones this, this dark. I, you know, obviously wish that 75% of this package wasn't this light. I mean, they could have done a 50-50 situation, but, um, you know, they're taking a step in the right direction, which I think is really cool. Let me continue my little how I learned Korean story. Um, well, basically, I think I was done. That's around it. Like, that's how I just kept meeting up with her and she introduced me to a lot of her friends and yada, yada, yada. Then we went from there. And, you know, obviously, we've been seeing each other quite often. I actually introduced her, like, to a lot of my friends. So we kind of have the same group now because we kind of merge them together. I love when that happens. Wow, like this concealer, this concealer is really smooth. I'm really pleasantly surprised because um, Dear Dahlia's cushion foundations are really bad in my opinion. Now I'm just gonna set my foundation with a powder. I don't want to use too much because I don't want to dry out my skin. Now you're probably thinking, Cecil, it's summer, you said you were sweating, how are you gonna dry out your skin? The thing is, they bump up the AC so high, like, that it dries out your skin so much and you start to freeze inside. So I'm just gonna be prepared for that. And then with the same kind of brand, I'm going in and shading my nose and my cheekbones. So let me jump into some eyebrows. I am actually gonna use like a combination of two different products here. The reason why I'm using this one first is actually because since I'm going away on like a weekend trip and such and we're gonna, you know, obviously all sleep together there, this is a life savior. Like, this is pretty much just tinting your skin behind your, your hairs so that it stays colored even though when you like wash your face and it stays like that for maybe two days or something. So this is like perfect for a lot of different situations. <laughs> I just like to like fill out the middle where I'm having some holes in my brows because I do have that. <laughs> it's very dark, very, very dark. Okay, I'm gonna just have to live with that. Okay, then I just like filled in the like middle parts of the brows and now I am moving on to using this one just to like fill in the inner corners here and just shape it like I usually would. I think I'm just gonna do my cheeks. I'm also gonna go in with some Dear Dahlia product here. This is the dual palette thingy and they have one that has like a reddish blush. I've used this before but it's just I love using red blush. It looks so nice. Okay, okay, that's a lot of color. She's will calm down. Oh my god. Okay, it'll it'll like it'll go down a little bit in color. I'm pretty sure. Speaking of learning Korean, I uh, actually started lessons um, because, you know, you can, you can only learn so much by just talking to people. I feel like I have a need to get down some basic rules and grammar because right now I can say things and I can have the correct ending like uh, uh, because I can hear what sounds correct, but I don't know 
like I don't know the rule for it and especially when I'm texting I do so many spelling mistakes and um, my friends kind of told me that Cecil you kind of you're like a three-year-old speaking so you speak quite well but you like are not using correct grammar using very basic words and such and especially for like my manager really wants me to learn better Korean so yeah that's the reason why I'm enrolled into classes I, I want to continuously improve there's just one issue though like the classes I signed up for goodness there are so many classes every single week this is the Clio prism air highlighter that I always use I'm in class Monday Tuesday Thursday and Friday for three hours <laughs> and like I'm working a lot just editing a video takes so long and I'm literally always working so much and now that I have to put in you know the first half of my day four days a week for this I'm so stressed out guys I'm so stressed out obviously I haven't gotten used to this schedule yet um, as well I think I can get into the schedule quite well now I know that I said I'm just meeting my friends so I want to keep it simple but I've just bought this really, really, really cute eyeshadow. Like, it's a glitter eyeshadow from Urban Decay. Actually, Angelina has another shadow in this line and it was just so beautiful. So I went to see, like, what other things they had. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, please. Oh, that is so pretty. I already have an exam on next week because I skipped some levels. Because obviously I've been here for two years, so I'm not gonna enroll into level one. Um, but I skipped some levels and I have like a test just to like double proof that I'm kind of like, you know, I know everything that they were taught in those levels. But there are like so many weird words like in, that you learn in school that I don't ever use on a daily basis. So I obviously never learned like Kisulta, a te technician, I think that is like. That's not something that I learned, so there are still so many things I have to study for that test. I have had like a fetish with brown eyeliner and brow mascara for a while. It just looks very natural, um, I think, in my opinion. And I saw that Dear Dahlia actually also... So, like, this isn't sponsored by Dear Dahlia, guys. I just generally love it. They gave me a mascara as well that is brown, so I want to try that out, but... For that, I want to apply some brown eyeliner on as well. This is like a sample eyeliner from Espa and it's really good. So as soon as that's like run out, I'm probably gonna go buy it. It's kind of hard to talk while applying eyeliner. So actually, the reason why we are going away for the weekend is to celebrate Fonso's birthday. Oh no. See, I know I cannot speak <laughs> when I'm applying eyeliner. It's so nice to see more of Korea because Korea is so much more than Seoul and it is like quite frankly breathtaking how beautiful this country is. It's insane. There are mountains everywhere, rivers going through them like a snake. It's just beautiful and especially in Namyangju. I've never been to Namyangju yet so today is gonna be the first time there but it's so close to Seoul and I heard that they have the most beautiful cafes. So I think tomorrow when we're all super, super hungover, <laughs> I think we're gonna go to one of these beautiful ones um, with like amazing view and ocean, not ocean, water. <laughs> so for my lips, I'm going to use this uh, from Pony Effect. So actually, honestly, we're gonna go grocery shopping first. And because there is a lot of people in the mart, I am... Um, you know, we're obviously gonna wear masks. So ideally I wouldn't be wearing any lipstick, but I still wanna show you guys the final look and then I can remove the lipstick when I'm done. Uh, Cause this is such a cute color. So here is the finished look. This is how I'm gonna go on my little weekend trip with my friends. This is 120% sure too much makeup for a trip like this but i still wanted to sit down and talk to you guys and i thought that would be a nice opportunity to be a little creative with my makeup now i'm just gonna pack it back quickly and then i'm gonna head out um because we are gonna meet up very very soon at the grocery store so we can pack the car but if you're not i'm gonna film everything on the trip so um see you at the grocery store Five 
They're getting some meats. I just bought a lot of vegetables. Flex. It's a new one from Chamis. Tam, no, Tom Toro. It's a new one from Tom Toro. Ooh. It tastes the same. It's bigger than Tom Toro. Wine? No, wine too. <laughs> 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 2 a.m. in the car playing our favorite song. Turn it up, windows down, we sing along. The summer night has just begun. We're going to the Airbnb now. Look at this view, guys. Oh my god. So beautiful in here. Let me show you the barbecue, guys. This is amazing. Kansu, <laughs> you look so cute. Thank you. Thank you. I 
I have to ask you guys a question because my friend Kayong, she thought it was really weird that I was eating this just like this. So she started boiling some of them. So I was so confused because I just eat them pure like this. We do that in Denmark. Don't you do that in other countries as well? Like we just eat them clean, like non-cooked. But she insisted on boiling the peas. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what time you go out on like a camping trip or a um, Airbnb trip or something you always do barbecue in Korea that is grilling um, usually like vegetables uh, pork sausage kimchi um, and then like one thing that is really good to grill actually is the um, garlic <laughs> <laughs> 대양이 오늘 grill master? 나 오늘 바베큐 마스터. 바베큐 마스터? 예. 좋아. 그 이, 이따 봐. 이따 올려. 응. 먹으면 응. 이거 다 먹으면 이거 같이 응. 먹을 거야. 시즈리 소세지도 못 먹지. 응. 응. 다못 먹어. 너무 응. 귀여운데. <웃음> 사랑해. 새끼들. <웃음> <웃음> 고마워, 펀소. <웃음> the summer night has just begun The moon is bright, let's have some fun Oh, this is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I made a martini cocktail um, because my friend Soon gave me some martini and I didn't drink it yet, so I brought it here. I don't know how to make a martini cocktail, so we mixed it with lemonade and ice and some wine. Today, soju, chom chom, like the first time, and <laughs> tera, the cheap Korean beer that tastes the most like Western beers. Kasurang ke pita 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 tastes like pea. It's really bad. This one is the good one of the cheap ones. They're really good Korean beers. That's a little bit more expensive. Hmm. This game is called. Tomato. Mm. Tomato. 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 ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっ